I sold four of these vintage tumblers. This is a four count lot of vintage Anchor Hawking glasses in an amber honey gold color. 16 ounce tumblers sold for $26.95 plus shipping. Let's get them packed. They're pretty tall. And yes, we're going to pack and ship them in this video. I'm going to start with a piece of foam for each glass on the diagonal. Just fold this around, fold the bottom up, roll it, add a piece of tape using masking tape, and then tuck this inside. We're going to add some more packing inside this too. I never like to ship a hollow item. I always like to fill it. This foam wrap is in the description below the video. If you'd like to order some, it's an Amazon affiliate link and it costs the same for you as it does for me. And I do get a few pennies on the dollar. So I appreciate that when you order from my links. It helps support my channel and thank you for that. Two down. It looks like I'm almost out of it, but I have another roll. Get one more out of this. Yes, we can. All right, let's finish filling in the center. And I think I'm going to use some tissue paper. Let's see how far one piece goes. I could pack it tighter, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, let's add some large bubble wrap on the outside. I'm not sure if one sheet is going to do this. I'm going to try it though on the diagonal and guess what? It's going to make it. This is large half inch bubble wrap. Again, you can find the link for this in the description below the video. And I'm using masking tape in this dispenser, which you can also find in the links below the video. Lots of links down there for you to check out. Okay, I said it was going to make it. Boy, it's tight here. It's, I have to work it to make it a little longer piece of tape. One down, three to go. I'm sort of flattening the bottom as I do this. I'm going to have more bubble wrap in the box, so I'm not worried about this too much. Okay, we have four packets. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's take a measurement, see what we've got here. About eight by six and a half. This is a priority mailbox, box number seven. It's 12 by 12 by eight. Let me get it assembled. on that side seam, which is right here. I'm going to give it some extra tape. I'd really like to stand these up this time. You know, yes, I can lay them down, but they will work if I stand them up. You can see I have the room to do that. I'm going to show you here how I make a divider for the box. Let me just get some extra cardboard and I'll show you how I do it. I have my cutting board, a ruler, scrap cardboard, utility knife, and a marker. The first thing I want to do is find the diagonal length of this box. And I am at around 16 and 3 quarters. So I know I'm going to want a piece of cardboard that's 16 and 3 quarters long. So I'm just going to mark that off in a couple of spots. This is just scrap cardboard from other boxes that we took apart. Let's cut this first, 16 and 3 quarters. And I save all these pieces of scrap. I can use that for something else. Check the fit on that. Pretty good, but obviously it's too tall, so we need to cut it down a little bit. And I have this piece on the bottom that I need to even up. Let's do that. Just evening up the bottom. And I know we have to cut this off. In fact, it's, just, it's too tall. So let's check the height. Making a couple of 
marks. One there. Let's make another one. And let's trim the excess off. Line up the ruler to the marks. And yeah, I'm going to save this, but I don't need this flap. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this flap off right now. So we have a template. I have some more scrap cardboard. And it too looks like it needs evened up a little bit. Just trimming it to even it. And I think I'll just take my marker and line this up. Make a little mark. Draw out the corner and make a little mark. The short end first. Save that. Let's cut the length. Let's get our other piece. To find the center. Just working the bottom of it. Mark the other one. We've got eight inches in height approximately. So at least halfway or at least four inches I want to cut up to the center with the utility knife. But I'm going to cut a little bit to the side of my center mark. Okay, and then I'm going to cut a little bit to the other side of my center mark. I'm going to connect the two cuts carefully and pull this piece out. So essentially I've made a slot. Let's do the same thing here. And again, I have a slot. Let's see how I did. Let's put these two together. I can see that they're not even that I need to make one of these a little deeper and I'm just going to try to check here and see which one it is. Looks like it's this one. Just going to cut that just a little more. Once you have both of these to the measurements that you need, just slide them together like so. Let's do a test fit in the box. I'm doing these on the diagonal. Looks pretty good. Let's check the flaps. And that feels real good. Now let's finish getting the glass tumblers in here. Let's see how this is going to work. I've got one square of bubble wrap, large bubble wrap. Too much movement in here, it's too loose. And the reason I like bubble wrap over paper is because paper adds a lot of weight. Now I have two sheets of large bubble wrap, putting this in the center of the two, pulling these up, sliding it in. Now that, that looks like a good fit. Let's try this with the other ones. And I have the opening of the cup facing up, putting it in the center again, folding these up. Gives some nice cushion on the bottom. Let's try this again. I'd say that's pretty good as well. Third one. Again, opening of the cup is facing up. Nice fit. And the last one. Let's turn this around facing you here. And the last one. I have to say, I'm really liking this. Need a thank you note on at least one of them. Holding this over, it's just a little bit high now. I'm going to just press it down a little more as I go. I'm just going to put a little pressure on it. Get this taped up. It's not going anywhere. It is heavy though, I can tell you it's heavy. I'm going to add some tape to the sides. By golly, I think we've got it. What do you think? It's a large mailing box. Just made a divider for the four glasses and I think it's going to work out great. Keep watching. I've got one more for you.
lots of these glasses in lots of four. Four count of vintage amber Indiana glass, Colony Park Lane is the pattern, eight ounce goblets. And someone bought both lots, so I have eight glasses to ship. They sold for $59.90 plus shipping. I did give a little discount for the second lot of four, so it came to $69.10. And yes, we need to pack eight of these beautiful goblets. You know, I'm a believer in not getting overwhelmed by all eight glasses. Instead, we start with one glass at a time, figure out how we're going to pack this one, and then repeat the process for the others. A lot of times I like to use my foam. I'm not sure if that's going to work good this time. I'm going to give it a try. And you know what? I do have this stem that I am a little bit concerned about, and I feel that it needs a little bit of extra protection. So I need to get something around here first. What can we use? I have pool noodles, which I could cut, but you know, that takes a lot of extra time for eight glasses. I have bubble wrap, I have tissue paper. What can I use? I have some old scrap bubble wrap that I ordered way back before I could get my good stuff. And I'm going to see about cutting this into three strips. So anxious to get rid of this old bubble wrap just to get it out of here. I'm going to fold this in half like so. And let's wrap this around here and see how much we need. I'm trying to use the whole strip. See what I've done? Just using a small piece of masking tape to hold it on. Now that we have the stem protected, let's try the foam wrap. Folding over, folding up, rolling it up. Give it a little bit of tape and let's tuck this inside. Now, you know me, now I never like to leave a hollow area, so I still need to fill the center part. And sometimes I use tissue paper. This is pretty deep and I have still some of this scrap bubble wrap. So I'm going to try a half sheet, not a third, but a half and see how that works. And that's going to work great. I'm trying to keep the weight down. So that's why with eight glasses, you know, tissue paper does add some weight. All right, time to bubble wrap this. And for that, I'm going to use my good bubble wrap, my half inch bubble wrap, and you can find a link for this in the description below the video. It's an Amazon affiliate link and anything you buy from my links does help support my channel. I get a few pennies on the dollar and I appreciate all the help that I can get, so thank you. Let's just tape this on, fold this up, some more masking tape, turn it, fold this, it just makes it. Now there will be more bubble wrap in the box than this. So now that I have an idea of how I want to pack one glass, I just simply repeat the process for the remaining glasses. And I'll speed this up for you. I'm down to the last two. I've been putting these in a tray off to the side. I didn't want them to roll off the table, so I'm just using a box lid, a banker box lid. We have a lot of glasses here, eight of them. <laughs> and we didn't pick up on that. And I'm just wondering what size box it's going to take. This is the largest eBay box that I have that's not oversized. It's a 16 by 12 by eight. It's always good to have the ones that just meet the 36 inches. When the combined measurements don't exceed 36 inches, it's not considered oversized for the cost. It can be two or three times more. So let me get this one assembled and we'll give it a try. Because this is a fairly large box, I not only taped it this direction, I have cross taped it in two places and put extra tape on the end. And of course, you know, I always put a piece of tape on the side seam. A lot of times I cross lay bubble wrap, but I don't have a lot of room around the perimeter. So I'm going to line the bottom of this exactly, the whole length, with some bubble wrap, but I'm not going to wrap it up the sides. So just cutting this off. I've lined the bottom, just the bottom only, with some large half inch bubble wrap. Let's put these in. Now a couple of things that I'm going to do. This taped area is not as padded as the back side. So I'm going to put the back side facing the corner and this is facing with the top of the cup facing up. This one I'm going to do the bottom facing up again putting the heavier protected side 
to the outside of the box, alternating, bring in mind that bubble as much as I can, if I can make them fit, to turn them slightly to make them fit, but I still have most of the bubble facing the outer perimeter. So this one was facing up, so this one I'm going to face down, facing up, facing down, and facing up. And guess what I discovered? I have all this extra room in the center. So I'm going to pull these in to the center, like so. And I'm going to put some air pillows on the outside. And I get these air pillows by a really big bag off of Amazon. Check the length. Okay, it will take five. So I need five and five. Put this here. Pull these in. Put it here. There's still some movement in here, too much movement. And I'm just wondering, can I get some air pillows on the end? here. Now let's try the other side. It's getting tight, but then that's what I want. I want it to be tight. I think I have to go to three. Keeping these up a little bit as I push the air pillows down. These are intentionally not filled completely so that they have some flexibility. Otherwise they would just pop. It is looking good. I don't think these are going anywhere and I've got the whole perimeter protected. I'm so excited about that. Let's get my thank you label on here. Maybe they deserve two with two sales, right? Two orders of four. Put a couple of those on. Again, just checking. It seems to have a little room there. I don't want them to move. I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna make sure these are standing up. And I've got a little room here. That's what I like. You can use as many or as few as you need. I really think they're good. I do need something on top. Do the same thing because I need this to close. I think, well I'll check it, but I think I'm going to have to cut this to length. No, just rolling under the ends is going to be okay. By golly, I think we've got it. Let's give it a shake. I don't feel any movement. Let's get it taped up. The Scotch Heavy Duty Packing Tape. It's the only tape that I've been using since I think 2004. So I really do like it. And links are in the description below the video. Put some on each end. By the way, simple little paper clip on your tape keeps it from sticking to itself. Let's turn this over. Somewhere on the bottom, I write the first and last initial of the buyer and the state it's going to. Colony Park Lane footed glasses are going to JC in Ohio. Let's get them in the mail. I can't spin this one. It's too heavy. I can't do it. Maybe this way. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I'd like to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.